If you don't like William Land Golf Course, are you even alive? This is a golf course where people take their dogs for walks and play golf. It's super sick. The first hole is basically a pitching wedge into a downhill green. Maybe it's a gap wedge or a sand wedge for you. Super fun hole. I hit this pitching wedge over, which was a great feeling. And the greens here are very slow typically, but they run well. So you have to give it a little extra boost. And I got that all the way down to the hole and made it. You cross a bunch of streets because this is literally a park. And that's another thing is it's actually a golf course that doesn't run away from society. It's actually in the middle of society, which is a welcome change. Every hole on this course, basically the fairways do not give you run in the winter. So my drive did not go that far because I don't get the ball up that high. Once again, hit driver pitching wedge. Pitching wedge on this hole, though, on that slight upslope, did not carry the number I thought it would. That chip was a little heavy. As you can tell, bunkers and slight elevation is the protection of this golf course. Kind of a sneaky hard course to putt at because the greens are pretty darn slow. So I had that on the right line. The third hole is a signature hole. If you can see right here, there's a tree in the middle of your way. There's a bunker in front. I actually hit this tree. I played through a group that was super friendly. It was the evening, and they just let me play through. As you can see, the sun is starting to set. I had still yardage back, and I just hit this little pitch that went up there, and I think I got like a bogey or something just real quick. Fourth hole, super fun. I always love passing by what you see on the left-hand side, the fall scenes and all that. I always try to play a, a cut or a slice if possible. Just once again, hit driver pitching wedge. This is a pitching wedge into this green. There's It always feels like this green is they put the hole behind the bunker in the back right. Barely got it over the bunker, gave myself that putt, and I could have sworn that was going to turn. I thought I made that, so really really cool setting it kind of feels like playing golf in central park whenever i play here it's really cool joined up with a group they were super chill and once again this course is can you keep the ball in play so you just want to hit the ball fairly wide open and i had a gap wedge there and i hit it into the bunker because i tugged on it not the best result most people's favorite hole it's the short par four it's like 290 I got it about 260, had 30 yards in, and then just misjudged this little pitch shot. Kind of underachieved on that one. Really a hard course for me to chip at. I gave myself 10, 10 yards or 10 feet in there and made par. Skipped the par three because it's just really flat. As you can see, like as it got darker, my camera just started to mist and do weird stuff. Hit a good drive, had a five wood into the green. My beanie's doing all different types of stuff. I'm getting all these avant-garde angles as it gets darker. Missed the five wood, but it's okay, it's getting dark. Left myself actually a good lob wedge number. What you will see as we go up is there's actually two bunkers that protect the green if you wanna to try to go for it because it's a 450 yard short par five. So the bunkers are the defense and I actually converted that as well. The ninth hole is my favorite hole in this course, but as you can see, it got really dark, so maybe I'll revisit that if you like it. Okay, thank you for watching this vlog. I appreciate anyone who contributes or subscribes or even likes a video. This is a passion project, and I'm just trying to do the best I can.